Hello, I'm Guru Scott. Today I'm going to show you how to change the air cleaner on my 2012 BMW F650 GS. And that's the two cylinder 800cc version. And the part number on the BMW filter is 13718529998. And you'll need a new filter element. And you'll also need a hand torque wrench, um, two to eight Newton meters and you'll also need a set of Torx drivers. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the uh, screws that go in this panel here. So I'll give you that uh, Torx driver number here in a second. I'll be right back. Okay, you're gonna use a T25 Torx driver and you're gonna remove this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. And there's also two up here in the steering stem right in here. You're gonna take off as well. And when you pull this panel up, you have to be very, very careful because underneath here, there's a plug-in that plugs in for this accessory outlet and we'll have to take it off separately. So I'll take the panel off and I'll be right back. Oh, and first you have to take the seat off to get the panel off. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, at this point, we're ready to remove this air box cover here. And that's gonna be with uh, T30 screws. And there's one here, here, and two down here. So you're gonna take those off and we'll pull this out and I'll be right back. Okay, the air box goes right here. I pulled it out, it looks like this. To get it out, you have to pull slightly on these side pieces to get it up and out. So I'm gonna take this and go clean it up with some soap and water and then armor all the seals on it. And then the filter is down in here. You just take it out. As you can see, mine is spotlessly clean. After 6,000 miles, that's pretty good. So I'll just clean up this area in here I'll put this back in, I'll put the housing back on, and I'll give you the torque settings here in a second. Okay, so now we're ready to start putting this back together. So a couple of things is the actual intake going into the engine is on the sides up here, in this area here and here. And then the air that comes into the intake plenum is down below the filter. So I cleaned that area out. I found a little bit of, oh, light, muddy looking substance down there. But like I mentioned, the filter looks good. And another way I can check it is to hold it up to the light and I can see some light through it. So it looks pretty unsoiled. I also cleaned the gasket surface on it and put some, uh, a little bit of armor all on it. So I'm just gonna put the filter in like that. Then I'm gonna take the uh, housing part here and I'm going to insert it. And uh, it goes this way. And I armor all all this surface here so I'll put it in and I'll get the screw started and I'll be right back. Okay, at this point I have all of my uh, screws started, the two up here and the two down here. And I have my hand torque wrench set for three Newton meters. So there's that one and I'm gonna crisscross the pattern. So I'm gonna torque them to three Newton meters and then I will put the uh, cover on. Now this cover goes on with two Newton meters of torque for all six of the screws. So I'll do that. Then I'll put the seat back on and that's basically the whole job. So thanks for watching. Servus.